We are in Timber Ridge. This is home site 134. And this is our future model, the Calabogue. Um, this will be a lease back from the Levy family for 12 months. So we're looking forward to this becoming a model. It'll be opening in the spring of 2022. And then there is the Cape Lookout that we uh, saw earlier. And that too will be a model. That's lot 131. Uh, but the Cape Lookout and the Calabogue are very similar in size. I love the entry on the Calabogue. It's got a nice big triple front door, the uh, nice dedicated foyer, defined foyer, and it has a lot of natural light. You'll notice it's got two uh, small windows flanking the front door, so a lot of symmetry. Um, in the garage, you'll note that it does have an oversized garage, just like the Cape Lookout. Whereas there's enough room for two cars and a golf cart garage. You do have that little alcove there for a workbench. And then it does have the study area as well off behind um, the, the golf cart garage. So you can see here, there's like a little study area there. So I'll come in the front. This is a split floor plan. So you do have the guest suites on one side and then the owner suite is on the opposite side. So you come in, big front door, foyer area. You see it's kind of defined there. And then on this side, there is two guest, guest suites with a shared bath in the middle. The front guest room has a nice walk-in closet. And the guest rooms are gonna be accessible uh, via doors, there's a Jack and Jill uh, style. So, and I like the fact that the vanity and the um, shower and toilet are separate. So if you have one guest that is taking a shower, the other guest can be using the vanity at the same time. And it does have a linen closet as well. And this is the other guest bedroom. And this room, a lot of folks, you'll notice it has two entries. It has an entry here into the great room and an entry through the hallway as well. So this one is more of like a flex space that can either be used as a study or a media room or a guest room, depending on what your needs are. And then you have the porch back here, which is really nice. They're opting to do one of our outdoor fireplaces, which are a very common option. We're seeing a lot of those being done. And I like this porch because it actually has two points of entry. Um, you can come in through the dining area or through the great room, which is really nice. And then I want you to see the back of this house it's because I think this house is really pretty from the back also it has a lot of nice roof lines. So that's the, that's the dining area there. That's the owner suite. This is the guest suites on this side. And then you have a little bit of a bump out for the bath in the guest rooms. But you can see this house, it's just got a nice presence to it. One thing that's really popular about the Calabogue is in the the owner's suite, you don't have to walk through the bathroom to get to the closet, and it has a his and hers closet. So kitchen area is here, obviously. Island, nice nine foot six by four foot island. It has a nice large pantry. So this is a very big pantry. Like the, Cal or like the Cal uh, Cape Lookout, the stairs to the bonus room are open, so it's integrated into the design. Nice large dining area. Note the vaulted ceilings in the dining area, and then also the little alcove for a beverage center. I've seen it as used as like a beverage center, like wet bar or dry bar area, and I've also seen it being used as a desk, so that's a nice feature. That's that opening into that media slash bedroom slash study. And then you have built-ins on either side of the fireplace there. And then that was the entry, the foyer there. And then there's a powder room right next to the foyer. And then the laundry is right off the powder room. Have a utility closet, some windows in here, plenty of room for the washer and dryer. And again, then you have the oversized two-car garage with the golf cart bay. See, there's gonna be a lot of 
windows and a lot of natural light. So this is the owner's suite here. Notice how tall the windows are. Like I said, this one, people like this plan because you have a his and a her closet and you don't have to walk through the bath to get to it. That's one of the things that people have, the feedback that we receive from the Cape Lookout is they like the dual closets and they like how it's not inside the bathroom. Zero entry shower, lots of natural light. Water closet is there. And then of course you have your vanity. Typically this house has a volume ceiling, but this client opted to do a coffered ceiling instead. So we'll have a coffered detail in this home. And then upstairs, this home features a lounge, a fourth bedroom, and a full bathroom. So here's the bedroom with the closet, plenty of windows, the lounge, you see the bath over on this side. And then like the Cape Lookout, this house has ample storage, which you can see here. Very large storage area, very tall ceilings. And this will all be spray foam encapsulated. So it'll be nice and comfortable during the summer and winter months. Again, this will be a model. It's gonna be opening in the spring and it'll be a model for 12 months. So you can come see what folks love about the Calibook.